Adobe Audition Training, The Basics, Session 5, Getting Started with the Effects Rack. Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this final, the fifth of my Adobe Audition Training Basics videos, I'd like to show you how to get started with the effects rack and start adding some really cool effects to your voiceovers or audio that you've produced in Adobe Audition. Take a look at this voiceover. The best music. If I want to add an effect to that voiceover in the waveform view, I simply click from my media browser onto my effects rack. Now you'll see space for many effects to be added, but I'm simply going to add something into effect rack one. Big choice here. I'm going to go into modulation and select chorus. And then I'll go for the bass chorus. Now when I cross out of that, you'll see that the bass chorus has been added. If I'd like to add another effect, I simply do the same process on the second effect rack, but I'll just stick to one effect for this example. When I play it back, you'll immediately hear the changes. The best music. But you'll notice that it hasn't been applied to the waveform itself. In order to do that, you need to hit apply. And now a destructive edit has been made to that wave. The best music. If I want to undo what I've just done there, I just hit the Command Z or Undo option on my Mac. The best music. Now let's head into the multi track and create a new session there. And I can drag in my voice over again. Now I want to add an effect. Let's use the plus key to zoom right in there. And perhaps I want to add different effects to the start and end. So perhaps I want to add a different effect to the and best music could have another effect on. In order to do that, you go into your tracks. You make sure the FX button is selected and this will bring up all of your effects racks for your multi-track. And I can go now into the effects rack, same as I did with the waveform view and add any effect I'd like. Maybe I'll add some flanger to this one. Let's go for the oral flanger on that one. And then on track two, I select that. Again, you'll see track two is highlighted and I can go in and maybe add some echo, I think, to this one. And I'll add my own echo, mic echo. And this will all be added now, so you'll be able to hear the best music. Best, best, best music. And that's exactly how I'd go about adding effects in the multi-track. Again, when you mix down, again, when you mix down your file, which I've demonstrated in the previous tutorial, you'll be able to see those effects applied to your voiceover. The best music. Best, 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 best. Well, I hope this short tutorial has helped you to get started with the basics in Adobe Audition. If you have a question for me, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I do my best to respond to every single question. If you'd like to get more audio production tips and tricks, click through to the website on your screen now and sign up to my newsletter with your name and email. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.